Hi everyone, I am Dr. Harish Babu Reddy, Consultant Gastroenterology and Hepatology at Manipal Hospitals Malayshwaram. Uh, on the occasion of World Liver Health Day on April 19th, which is being celebrated across the globe, I would like to take this opportunity to create the awareness about liver health and the steps can be taken to improve the liver health in a good condition. Just to mention a few, the most important functions what liver does for our body is one is a toxin filtration, second is it plays a very important role in the metabolism of the glucose and fat and protein and third it helps in protein synthesis which are very much important for our body immunity, blood clotting and also for the immunoglobulin production in our body. The theme for 2024 World Liver Day is be vigilant, do regular checkups as fatty liver can affect anyone. As most of you are aware, fatty liver is one of the most common liver diseases affecting across the globe, across all the age groups starting as early as adolescent and going up to the elderly people. But it is a very silent disease, usually picked up only on a regular health checkups or a screening done for a different purpose. So fatty liver is also called as a metabolic associated fatty liver. It has to be diagnosed in early stage and taken care. Otherwise, with the due time and progression, it can progress to cirrhosis and develop into the complications of a liver disease. On the occasion of World Liver Day, I would like to share some tips to maintain a good liver health. First thing is to say no to alcohol, drugs and tobacco. Second, to maintain a balanced healthy lifestyle in terms of diet, regular exercise, getting a good sleep of 7 to 8 hours and if at all a stress and anxiety issues to mitigate to as much as possible and live a healthy balanced lifestyle. The most important aspect in a healthy lifestyle is to have a balanced diet which includes avoiding processed and ultra processed food, cut down sugar in various forms and try to have lot of protein and fiber in your diet. And then coming to exercise, be consistent in whatever exercise you could do it. At least spend 30 to 40 minutes every day and try to get a good sound sleep of 7 to 8 hours duration. Third point, if you have any of the metabolic issues like diabetes, cholesterol, high blood pressure, get them under optimal management as improvement of those diseases also will reflect in managing your fatty liver disease. Next point is coming to the vaccinations in the liver disease. Hepatitis B vaccination is recommended across all the age groups. Hepatitis A predominantly for the children and infants. Next, coming to the point, how can you kind of screen for a liver diseases and what are the steps you can take care to find it out and take management accordingly. Just getting a regular health checkups, which includes liver function test along with all your metabolic parameters guides us. Then get an ultrasound scan abdomen and pelvis, which will guide us whether you have a fatty liver or not. Based on these reports for few patients, we go ahead with doing a test called fibro scan which will give us correct estimation of the fat percentage and also if at all it has caused any fibrosis in your liver. In some patients where fibroscan is not feasible, in them we go for a test called MR elastography which again gives a complete information about your liver health and guides us to give you proper medications and also lifestyle advises to take care of your fatty liver. Wishing you all a very good liver health. If you like the information provided by me, please like and share this information with whomever you feel it is important. And if you have any comments, please drop down in a comment box. We'll get back to you.